Hello everybody, this is Stranger Gamer back f to kick off the Gracious Grass Tournament and yes we are kicking off with four matches to look forward to. Starting off with Lambiosaurus taking on the Shant, Karifasaurus going up against the Super Shant, Lambiosaurus Magna Cristatus going up against Parasaurolophus and then Sinteosaurus taking on Prosaurolophus. And without further ado, let's get on with our first matchup. Um, for those of you that are new to this, it will be a best, it'll be a 1v1, but it'll be a best of three matchup. So up first, we have a Lambiosaurus. Quite an impressive beast, this specimen. Used by, um, Cryonova in my big tournament not too long ago. It'll be tough though, because in the blue corner, we have the ever so bronze beauty, that is, the Shantlingosaurus. And this one is a tack type. Look at that power, 1900. That's mightily impressive. And look at that metal wing. If metal wing activates, this could be a very short match. Okay, so yep, moves will be randomly generated like normal. So that's the skizzers. Ooh, and that is also a skizzers. The Lambiosaurus is charge type, so ties will suit it more. However, that crit will definitely help it out, and a tiebreaker to boot, a good start from the Lambiosaurus. A very good start by Lambiosaurus, here comes the net crusher, is this lethal for the Shant? Nope. But one crit from the Shant can change everything, and speaking of the devil! Can the Shant one-shot the Lambiosaurus with a Metal Wing? I'd probably say no, but if this was Super Impact, then I'd probably say yes, the Shant would probably win. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I don't know, actually. Maybe Super Impact might not be a match. Okay, that's it. But, in one move, the Shant has pretty much even the score, and a Snatch Round 1. Well, that came out of nowhere, didn't it? The Lambiosaurus started strong, but the Shant finished stronger. Gassing the Lambiosaurus to death and killing it. But it will be revived for round two. That's an interesting matchup. You know, it's sort of back and forth. You know, it's not, it's not doom and gloom yet for Lambiosaurus, as all they need to do now is win these next two rounds and they will go through. So, let's get on with round two. Alrighty then, round two between these two giant herbivores. Which one? Can the Shant take a 2 0 win, or can the Lambiosaurus even the score? It <laughs> got it out in the end there. Okay, we'll start with Skizzers. Paper, sorry. But the Shantungosaurus will be opening off with the, with the death grind that finished off Lambiosaurus last time. Of course, they will finish it off this time. Well, not this death grind anyway. But it does do a decent chunk of damage. The attack type variant of the Shant definitely paying off so far. Oh, and here comes a 2 for a dive. And the Shant gets off another hit. I think Lambiosaurus, despite that good start, I think it might have just run out of steam. But can it find a second wind here? The answer to that is no. As I think the Shant has just secured his place in the last 16. And ironically, finishing off Lambiosaurus with a death grind. Poor Lambiosaurus got absolutely annihilated there. A shame really because it is a fan favourite and the fan favourite has been knocked out of round one. But the Shant, also pro a fan favourite, advances to the last 16 and continues his march in the tournament. Well, that was kind of a quick match there. The attack type Shant could definitely be one to watch. Okay, on to our next matchup now, which sees, which sees the Karifasaurus taking on the Super Shant. Alrighty then, in the red corner, we have the Karifasaurus. The helmet headed lizard itself. Can it, is it in with a shout, shout here? That super impact 
can definitely do a lot of damage and look at that power there, 2140. And it's technique and half bad either. But it's gonna be tough because in the blue corner we do have the Super Shantungasaurus. The winner of this matchup will be facing the normal Shant. That atomic bomb is definitely one to watch. And yes, for those of you that didn't pay attention last time, the Awaken Mode will be activated as soon as the Dino's health goes below half. I guess four. Four. Oh, poof. Okay, well, the Shant did win that, so I will give it the Atomic Bomb there. <laughs> and I misclicked on Rock. Oopsie. Boosh. A strong start from the Shant there. Oh my god, look at that! Loads of damage there. There's the defense boost. And the super impact has been triggered. What Karifasaurus would love now is to get off that super impact. Oh, but it's not! And I think this might actually be lethal. Oh, nope, nope. I forget this isn't the attack type one, is it? So it doesn't have as much attack power. If it did have the attack power, it would have won already. Well, it doesn't matter because it's about to win anyway. And round one is going to the Super Shant without even needing to use Awaken Mode. Actually, didn't even take a hit. Well, that was quick and painless for the Shant, wasn't it? It's a good episode if you love the Shant. Right, let's move on to round two. Actually, you know what's interesting about these grass dinosaurs is it, during my tournament they were quite popular. A, a lot of teams had a grass dinosaur in it and I put that down to the fact that a lot of people were reluctant to use wind dinosaurs because of the inevitable popularity of fire dinosaurs in the tournament. So people would be more reluctant to use wind dinosaurs and wind dinosaurs have the type of advantage over grass dinosaurs. So if you use a grass dinosaur, you shouldn't, you wouldn't really have to fear they having a bad matchup that often, unless you re were unlucky. And, and wind dinosaurs, I believe, were the least popular dinosaurs in my tournament. Well, this match is starting off just like the last one is. The Super Shant picking up where he left off there, getting off that defense boost as well, getting off the damage on the Karifasaurus. Will Karifasaurus even get a hit this match? Oh my god, it will! And it is counter type, and it does have the critical block. Could the Creepersaurus mount a comeback? Oh, it's got gas grind as well. Ooh, the Shant's gonna get a taste of his own gas. Okay, that's not half health, so we can't use the Awaken mode yet. And since the paper move is gone, the Creepersaurus will automatically be going for rock. As will the Shant. Okay, that's... Ooh, I don't know. It's... Well, it doesn't matter now. Okay, now it's time for the Awaken Bone from the Shant. But the critical block is going to come in. So it'll make getting the hit a little bit tougher for the Shant. Well, actually, it'll be impossible. I mean, it could kill it with ties, I suppose. And that's the only hope the Shant has now. But it is time for our Awaken Bone. Oh, that's a tie, and that's exactly what the Shant wants. Because look at that. Okay, <laughs> I paused it just in case I ran out of time, but... Yeah. The Kreefasaurus getting the crucial hit. Oh, and the Kreefasaurus gets off ahead again. <laughs> Well, the Karifasaurus it, even in the score, finally got going there. That critical block definitely helped it in defeating the Shant. The Awaken Mode didn't help it at all. But you know what that means? It's all going to come down to this next round. So let's get on with it. Alright, round three, and we're in the Alpha Arena again, where the Karifasaurus did indeed even the score. But which one of these grass munchers has, a, has enough fuel left in the tank to prevail? and book their place in the last 16. Oh, that's a tie. Um, well, ties suit neither of them because they took the same amount of damage, pretty much. Oh, that's another tie. Ooh, 
Ooh, the Creeposaur is getting off that critical block. That turned the screw on the last matchup between these two. And will it help Creeposaurus win this one? Okay, that's not half health, so we can't use the awake mode. Okay, rock and the shanks move will be... Well, we can't be paper. Will also be rock. Okay, now that's below health. Half health, so... Next round will be the awakening time. Ooh, and the shank does get off a hit. It's first hit in a while. There's a defense boost there, which could help. But it is awakening time. This time, there's no critical block for it to worry about. So the shunt has a good chance to land some big damage. Oh, that's a tie. The shunt won't mind that. Oh, the Kurifasaurus, though. Getting off the death grind. Getting off the critical block. And quite possibly could have just turned the tables on this match. Oh, a big opportunity missed there by the Shant, and the critical block will guarantee that the Creeposaurus lands some damage. Oh, and the Super Shant! That's quite the upset. I'd probably say the Super Shant was the favourite, but the Creeposaurus has dug deep and have pulled off a 2-1 win over Super Shantungosaurus and will advance to the last 16 to play the normal Shant. Ooh, our first upset of the tournament, and it's quite the good one, because I, I thought the Super Shant would do well. But the Karifasaurus looked mightily impressive there, and Critical Block definitely helped it turn the tables. Right, on to our next matchup here, a clash of the golds between the Lambiosaurus Magna Cristatus and Parasaurolophus. Alrighty then, in the red corner we have the Lambiosaurus Magna Cristatus. Wow, I try saying that five times fast. Quite the beast, this one. Could be one to watch in this tournament, but the golds in the Wicked Win tournament failed to impress, so can these golds fit any better? Well, one of them's gonna get through, although one of them is gonna go home. In the blue corner, we have a Parasaurolophus. The defense type version, of course. The Parasaurolophus looking to, looking to tank her way into the finals. Um, I don't know which one, I don't know, I think, I think this is an even match. I, I can't, it's, it's going to be a tough one to call. Ooh, the Parasaurus getting off to a good start there. And I was also told that someone actually commented that defense boost always activates when you beat the opponent's crypt. And I think it might be true. And I didn't know that. So I appreciate, so I thank the person who told me that. But will defense boost help the para? Although when I did it when I did a field test comparing defense boost and defense boost, defense boost didn't really make that much of a difference. So in terms of which one to use, which one is better, I'd probably stick with defense boost. Little damage sustained there and an even start so far. Oh, that's a tie. The Magna Crustatus won't mind that though because it does have the tie attack and the ties will ignore that resilience that the Parasaurolophus has. And the Blunder type as well. However, the Parasaurolophus is going to get off another defense boost. I mean, overall defense boost does increase your defense more than defense boost, but it, the difference is not that much. So i probably stick with defense boost. Ooh, the Lambiosaurus Magna Cristate is gone? Yes it is, the Parasaurolophus wins round one. Doom doom doom. Lambiosaurus Magna Cristatus did put up a good fight. Okay, I'm just going to say Magna Cristatus. You don't mind, do you? <laughs> the Magna Cristatus did put up a good fight there, but the para pulled through. Right, let's move on to round two. Alrighty then, round two between these gold grass munchers. Can the, lap, can the Magna Cristatus even the score, or can Parasaurolophus continue to impress? Ooh, that's an opening crit there from the Para. 
not the start Magna Christique just wanted. Oh dear, a metal win. I think the Parasaurus is probably going to pull through here. But let's not count Magna Christique as out yet. But one more hit will win it for the Para. Ooh, but the Magna Crustatus does get off that big foot assault. Can it make a comeback? Honestly, I think these walls are just so improvised that they just run out of ideas at this point. Not much damage dealt there. Oh, oh, no. Game over for the Magna Crustatus. The Parasaurolophus pulling through with a crit. And finishing it off. And getting a bit of health back to add insult to injury. The Parasaurolophus looked quite impressive there. While the Magna Crustatus failed to impress, I'm afraid. And it will be an early exit for our Lambiosaurus alternative. Not a good episode if you like Lambiosaurus. Because both of them are out. But a good episode there for the Para. As, they, as she advances into the last 16. Alrighty then, on to our final match of this video, and that will see the Sinteosaurus going up against Prosaurolophus. Alrighty then, in the red corner we have the Sinteosaurus, the Unicorn Hadrosaur itself. Can it go deep in this tournament? A very, a very heel based moveset here. It could be a tricky contestant to deal with. However, in the blue corner, we have the Avaceratops poser itself, the Proceralophus. Proceralophus could be a deadly asset in this tournament. The revival type could also come in handy here. And that Bigfoot Assault can pack a punch. The winner of this match will go on to face the Parasaurolophus in the last 60. Oop, that's a tie. Ooh, probably suiting Sinteosaurus a little bit more. However, the Proterolophus does get off the opening hit. As the Emerald Garden gets triggered there. But the Emerald Garden not be activating. The Proterolophus saying no to that. And the chance missed there for Sinteosaurus to get some health back. Ooh, but the Sintelsaurus does get off its first hit of the match. Not much damage dealt though. All of its power seems to be in the crit. Ooh, but the Sintelsaurus does get off another hit. Coming back into this match here, and it's been quite an even match. The Proserolof is starting strong, but the Sintelsaurus coming back. Oh, oh, another hit, but the tag team coming in there. Stopping the Prusaurolophus from getting hit yet again. Now oh, I put Papasaurus limping. Ah, but there, better have some randomness. A tie there as the Prusaurolophus does edge out in front. Ooh, and I think the Prusaurolophus has just taken a 1 0 win. Well, it should be a 1 0 win. Yeah. Slippy slap. Yep, the Sinteosaurus dazed and defeated. The Proserolophus wins round one. Although that was quite a good match there. Chance miss for Sinteosaurus though when the Emerald Garden was triggered, but let's move on to round two. Alrighty then, can the Sinteosaurus come back into this match? Or will the Proserolophus secure that 2 0 win? Um, well, we didn't see much from Sinteosaurus, maybe because it couldn't get off the heel moves. But hopefully we'll see a bit of it this time. Oh, the Proserolophus opening up with the opening hit again. But no Emerald Garden being triggered this turn. Oh, that's a tie. Ties probably suit the Sinteosaurus more because it takes less damage and deals seems to deal more damage. Oh, that's another tie. 
Ooh, big damage coming Sintosaurus's way. This might actually be lethal already. The Proserolophus getting off that big foot assault and it's gonna land some big damage. Yep, that's the Sintosaurus dead and buried. Quite literally, because they got pounded into the ground by the Seismosaurus. Proserolophus booking his place in the last 16 to take on the pal. Oh, that's kind of disappointing there from the Sintail's perspective. I, I was hoping to see some healage, but oh well. Didn't quite happen for it that time. We'll update the um, bracket thing and we'll end the session. Um, well, this one was kind of 50-50, so no surprise at the Shant one, but it wouldn't have been a surprise if the Lambio won. Uh, this one was quite a big upset. I didn't expect the Karifasaurus to win at all. I thought the Super Shant would be way too strong for it. Especially after that first round. But the Karifasaurus definitely showed a lot of potential there. And it could be a dark horse in this tournament going forward. Um, this matchup again, a clash of golds. You know, pretty even. So again, wouldn't not much of a surprise that the Para won. It wouldn't have been a surprise if the, if the Magna Cristatus won. A shame that we won't see too much of this guy. Because we don't really see too much of it. But, yep, yeah, a good win for the Para. And this matchup, well... A little disappointed in the Sinterosaurus, to be honest. I, I was hoping to see some of its heel moves go off, but it didn't quite happen for it. The Proserolophus proved it too, a, a bit too strong. But this could be an interesting clash here. The clash of the Sorolophuses with the Parasaurolophus and the Proserolophus. And can the Karifasaurus yet again defeat a Shant? <laughs> well, you'll have to wait a while for those matchups. So stay... That's going to end this session, so stay tuned for next time, where we will have Super Mutterborosaurus going up against Paris Dinotector, Sorolophus taking on Lanzusaurus, Myasaurus going up against Alpha Aranosaurus, and Ultirhinus taking on Brachylophosaurus. And until then, this is Stranger Gamer, signing out. <laughs>